Hello, everyone. My name is Estelle, and I'm a museum educator here at the Museum of Industry. I'd like to welcome you to the Garment Loft. What do Presidents Bill Clinton, George H.W. Bush, and former Raven Tory Smith have in common? They all purchased suits made here in Baltimore. Baltimore was famous for making garments, especially men's suits. We were known as the city that tries to suit everybody. Our garment loft is a recreation of a typical suit factory, with sewing machines, a cutting table, which might be as long as 100 feet, and many bolts of fabric. One-fourth of all the city residents worked in the garment industry. As a matter of fact, during World War II, it employed more workers than Bethlehem Steel. I have a personal connection with the garment industry. My mother, an immigrant from Latvia, worked in a factory that made fur coats. Many of the garment workers were immigrants and were able to find jobs working for companies that made clothing. Their pay was minimal and working hours were very long, up to 10 hours a day. Working conditions were tough with poor lighting and ventilation and few benefits. The mural behind the sewing machines depicts the 1910 sewing room of the Henry Sonneborn Clothing Factory, located at Packa and Pratt Streets. More than one half of the clothing workers were women, mostly young girls and teens. They earned meager wages, generally between $6 and $8 a week, and were paid by the piece. Designers, pattern makers, and cutters, considered skilled workers, were exclusively men, and they earned a weekly salary of at least $20. The only time that women were allowed to have skilled jobs was during World War I, when men went off to war. The union movement improved working conditions, but today most clothing manufacturers have moved overseas in order to cut costs and increase profits. The Baltimore Garment District has been transformed to an area with loft apartments and condos, restaurants, retailers, and entertainment venues. Baltimore remains a city that suits everyone, but in a new and exciting way.